Hey, what is going on you guys? Thanks for tuning into this video. And today I wanted to go ahead and show you the quick charging capabilities of this phone. I did make a video with the Galaxy S8 in regards to it quick charging. Now, that wasn't really as stable as I thought it was going to be when it comes to quick charging. And then I, you know, I got some comments with people telling me about this meter and, and whatnot. This meter is not meant to block any sort of energy going into the phone. It simply uses a very small portion of the energy just to power it on and then it uses its components inside to measure that power and dis and put it out to the display. So uh, this isn't again a 100% accurate video but it gives you an idea of where we stand when it comes to uh, the the Galaxy S9 in this case the S9 Plus and the quick charging capabilities. So this is the meter that I used on the other one. Uh, it is the exact same one. It is capable of taking 9 volts and I believe up to 5 amps. So it's a, a definitely a capable uh, meter here. And I am using Samsung's charger here, which I had to unplug real quick, but this is a charger that comes with the phone. Uh, as you can see right there, 9 volts at 1.67 amps which is considered that quick charging uh, you know, capability. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out right now. Uh, I do wanna show you, this is the power button and the phone is completely dead, as you can see, 0%. Um, so we are going to go ahead and plug it in. As you can see, this is the Samsung charging cable, the Samsung uh, power adapter, and as you can see, it is currently on. So once you plug it in, there's energy flowing through. It'll tell you where the energy is and which way it's going. As you can see, it's going from the power adapter to the phone. And there you, and there we are right now. As you can see, the phone does say it is fast charging. Uh, it is 8.7 volts and 1.2 amps. And again, remember this thing fluctuates a lot. Uh, it could go up all the way to 9 volts, and it can go all the way to 1.67 uh, amps. It, it, it all depends. It's, it, it really varies. So in this case, uh, it is definitely a you know quick charging device here. Um, of course, the more the better, and that's what we're going to go ahead and do, is I am going to wait just a little bit, and I am just... I'm going to basically wait for the quick charging capabilities to turn on. So the great thing about video editing is the ability to time lapse. All right, so I was going to, you know, time lapse it here. So the phone does have a little bit of charge, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on all the way and see if that makes a difference with the phone taking advantage of its quick charge capabilities. As you can see, we're really close to its peaks here and that may have been the difference, but again, let's just go ahead and see here. All right, so the phone is on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the screen here and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, there you go. And just like the uh, the S8, this thing fluctuates, but I think it fluctuates a lot better than it did with the S8. Uh, remember, this is right now is currently at four percent, uh, but it is getting closer to its peak numbers here. And I'm gonna say that this is definitely, uh, you know, definitely a for sure uh, gonna fast charge this device, and it's not gonna leave you stranded, which is a positive thing. Yeah, for sure you wanna. You want to have, you know, quick charging phone, and it's comforting to know that, that this phone does have that capability for you to, you know, to use. But um, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped you out. 
I'm not gonna make a video on how long it takes to charge this phone from zero to 100 because unfortunately I do have to return this phone back. But again, I hope you liked this video. If it did, uh, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, still give it a thumbs up. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but please subscribe and share this channel to make it grow. And uh, as always, I'll catch you in the next one.